Dr. Steve Pachenik, and this is Steve Talks. Hi, I'm Dr. Pachenik, and I want to wish everyone out there a happy Father's Day, and I want to thank all of you for wishing me a happy Father's Day. Unfortunately, I want to begin with a sad story of uh, a very brave man and, and a group of Republicans who were just enjoying themselves on a baseball field in Alexandria, Virginia. And a crazed individual from Belleville, Illinois, came and shot a group of them. And thanks to the Capitol Police, he in turn, this gentleman, Hodgkinson, was killed. Now, let's talk a little bit about James Hodgkinson who is well known by the Belleville, Illinois police, has had a history of alcoholism, wife abuse, child abuse. But despite all of that, the police still allowed him to have a license to carry a rifle and a gun. Now, I support the NRA, I support the Second Amendment, but this is an example where a gentleman who had a history of mental illness or erratic behavior documented by the police in Belleville, Illinois, should never have had a license for a gun. Despite that fact, he traveled all the way by car, presumably, to Alexandria, Virginia, where he met with the mayor of Alexandria, Virginia, lived the life of a homeless individual at the YMCA, but was never, ever picked up by the Alexandria Police Department. Now, why do I find that unusual? I unfortunately had a quite a bad encounter with the Alexandria Police Department because they were so gung-ho and so incompetent that I was stopped at a TSA point in Dulles Airport where I had a concealed weapon, but I had a concealed weapons license. TSA allowed me to go through, but this incompetent female Alexandria uh, police officer had no idea what I was carrying, asked me to open it up. I showed it to her, and then she slapped me with a uh, felony one, although she had never seen a uh, switchblade knife in her, her life. I then had to go to the prosecutor and the judge, and they just, you know, quacked away and did what they do normally, which is to be incompetent. Nevertheless, I went to the probation officer, explained my case, and after an hour and a half, she said to me, I should be the president of the United States. So in effect, I walked in as a first degree felon and walked out of my probation officer as the future president of the United States. The key here is that Scalise, Steve Scalise, was a very effective proponent of, ped of child trafficking and laws against child trafficking and against pedophilia. Whether this involves a concerted effort on the part of the deep state or whatever, whoever is involved, if that is the fact, then there will be major retribution for that particular case. In general, I hope the police find the individuals behind uh, Hodgkinson because he can't be the only one who did it or who was enabled to do this act. And I hope they get prosecuted. My best wishes go out to the Capitol Police, to Scalise and the other individuals who were hurt and injured. Now for a more serious note. Uh, the DNI General, Lieutenant General James Clapper, made an outlandish comment, and it was an inappropriate comment for an intelligence officer to make, particularly someone who spent over 34 years in the intelligence system. James Clapper claimed that whatever is happening now in the Trump administration, which I really don't really know, is far more serious than what happened under Watergate. Now, to me, that is absolutely absurd. Number one, Clapper was not involved in the Nixon administration. Number two, Clapper is not what we call a psychological analyst or in any way trained in the sophisticated uh, concepts of psyops or political psychology or anything other than SIGINT. For the most part, he's been a loyal soldier and who served in Vietnam and then served accordingly up the ranks without any major problems except for the fact that he lied in front of a Senate committee that was investigating uh, the NSA surveillance. He lied there was none, and that was a felony. He then had a problem of conflict of duty when he was on the board of several Beltway bandits, and he claimed that he wasn't really getting any remuneration. The point here is James Clapper has a serious problem, and he should keep his mouth shut. 
Number one, I had been involved indirectly in the Watergate uh, problem. Number two, it was Kissinger that helped to get us out of that situation. Number three, the present situation with the Russians is nothing comparable to what it was with the Soviet Union. And number four, it would be uh, behoove James Clapper and others to understand what Russia is really like. The second individual who has a problem and was in the Defense Intelligence Agency is Michael Flynn. He had a high promise for a very uh, fruitful future. I personally thought he would go very far, but he didn't. I was disappointed. He didn't do well as a DIA director, and he didn't do well in the private life. He was sloppy, he was impulsive, and he claimed he was a good businessman, which he wasn't. In fact, he had served the Turkish government, the Russian government, and other intermediaries who were somewhat culpable and never, never was able to tell the truth in terms of what he had committed. In that case, I think Mike Flynn has to be set before the uh, Judicial Committee and interrogated for actions that he had committed, perhaps against the United States, certainly against our fi financial laws, and certainly against the laws of the fact that he did not sign up as an agent or a lobbyist for a foreign government. In finality, I want to just say the following. William Shakespeare said, when the father gives a gift to a daughter and a son, they both laugh. But when the daughter and the son give a gift to the father, they both cry. So I end that and say, Happy Father's Day. Hi, this is Dr. Steve Pachenik. This is Steve Talks.